use these in NLP in terms of when we're working with somebody. Um, are we getting the results that we want to get? And they also apply to life. So as we're going through it, we're gonna, I'm going to talk through them and then get you in groups to chat about which ones do you do naturally, which ones don't you do. Um, so how does that contribute and sometimes not contribute to getting the success that you want? So first one is know your outcome. So in NLP, we talk a lot about outcomes. It's one of the things that I really love about it, uh, particularly as a, a clinician in terms of psychotherapy, is that we're always working towards what some, someone wants rather than just resolving their problem. So it's all very well to have someone who feels stuck in their life, but how will they know when they're not stuck? What will they get instead? And often, we get focused in co when people are coaching, get focused on the problem is this, I need this problem solved, when really we also need to get them thinking about where are they going, what happens when that's solved, what will you get instead? Because psychologically, our brain needs to start to filter for the evidence of the thing that we want. Otherwise, you're just going to be searching for the problem all the time. So we are very specific about how we can get people to get clear on outcomes. And this afternoon, the last thing we're going to do this afternoon is, is to teach you a way of doing that and get you to get some practice at it. Because I don't often get people that have a problem telling me what the problem is. But you ask someone, what do they want? And it's like, what, me say what I want? Now some of that makes a lot of sense. How many of you were told, I want doesn't get? You know, that's not an uncommon, you know, when you're a kid, mummy is sweet, and there's that toy, and, and then the parents get fed up and say, oh, come on, don't you know, I want doesn't get. So, said with good intention, often it stops people from expressing what they want. And sometimes, hard for people to even know what they want. So, you are you someone that knows all your problems, or are you someone that knows what you want instead of your problems? So, if people are in a job they're not happy with, how would they know if they were? What would they see, hear, feel? What would be going on? These can be things that are quite hard for people to articulate. And some people are really good at knowing what their outcome is. So where are you? Do you know what you want? Or do you know what you don't want? Um, so I work with, uh, I'm a, a couples therapist. It's, it's the joyous part of my work. Um, especially when they gang up on me, that's always <laughs> the, the fun bit. Um, the, and if someone is looking for something in a relationship, they can often tell you what they don't want. You know, I don't want someone who's lazy, manipulative, and they can ring off a whole nice long list of things they don't want. Getting them to think about what they want instead can really, really help them to begin to look for those qualities rather than be, be searching unconsciously for the negative qualities. Because if you've got this list in your head that says, I don't want someone who's this, 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 and this, you're coding your brain to look for it, so you might miss the other people. And that's what often happens, and that's the kind of law of attraction type thing if anyone's read The Secret on any of those kind of books. So do you know what you want? 